Hi, this is Jason Trombach, the conservation and food plot specialist and certified wildlife biologist from Millbourne Seeds. Out here on a project we just got completed here in mid-October, and what we did here is uh, we're trying to enhance a wetland area. This wetland had been overtaken by reed canary grass, which is a very problematic grass here that basically take, overtakes any kind of wetland basins, uh, transition zones between the wetland and the uplands basically no wildlife benefit to it at all. It lays down during the winter months, lays down flat. So the guy wanted to create some better habitat. So what we had the guy do is actually uh, mow a strip down here, spray it with Roundup, mow the strip, and then uh, plug these prairie cordgrass plugs in here. Now these are some special prairie cordgrass plugs. They're called Prairie Farm Prairie Cordgrass, and what Millborn Seeds is the marketers for it. And these plants were selected for us basically for its mass, its biomass. These plants will probably get about eight to 10 foot tall. They're extremely stiff stems, so they will stand up uh, during the harsh winter months of here, providing some really good winter cover. And uh, what we had them do is take these plugs and do it every three foot, we plug the plant. And um, over time, these, these prairie cordgrass spreads by rhizomes. And uh, I can show you here in a little bit, we do a close up of rhizomes starting on some of these plants, but basically it spreads by roots and hopefully over time here, this strip we mowed out will be overtaken by this prairie cordgrass. Um, prairie cordgrass is a native grass. It, uh, it, and it's typically found in transition, or transition zones between wetlands and uplands. It does, uh, it, does can, it can tolerate some saturation. And uh, so this is an ideal place for them where we have a, a drainage ditch here to our left. Um, that's typically always has water flowing through it, so this area is sub-irrigated. And um, so hopefully in about a year's time here, we come back here and do a follow-up video for this. And uh, these plants will be about 8 to 10 foot tall. And you can see they're just starting to spread. Hopefully they will spread over time here. There's a couple rhizomes shooting out right now. This actually looks like little needles coming out. And these will continue to spread over time. And hopefully, like I said, in a, a few years' time here, this whole area will be overtaken by a prairie cordgrass. So this is a, a great project, just trying to enhance some uh, wetland areas where the reed canary is overtaken, uh, not providing some habitat at all, and provide some better winter cover. This is Jason Trombach, the conservation and food plot specialist and certified wildlife biologist for Millborn Seeds.